Alice Parsons grew up in the green belt of England around Berkshire in a big country household which saw seven children gather around the table eating good hearty fare sourced from the land. Waste was just not to be entertained so you took every last shred of anything off the bone making use of what was available mm. and making it as tasty as possible. The English art of making great things with leftovers created dishes with some wonderful names. Bubble and Squeak, cottage pie and shepherd's pie, one of Alice's favourite recipes. Alice starts her pie by mincing some cold roast lamb. So I'll leave that. That'll be plenty for us. OK, I'm just going to let a little olive oil warm up in the pan. Onion I love. Now a bit of celery, and then some diced carrot, and I've got my monster pepper grinder. Love pepper, that's another thing mother put on. Copious amounts on everything. Salt coming, just a bit, and then I'll get the, the lamb, okay, so just put all that in. Very generous amount. At this point, we get it all sort of tossed around, making friends with the carrots and celery. Mm. The, That's lovely. And then I'm going to add a bit of flour, plain flour, and then I'll do a bit of good old Keen's dry mustard. And then I'm going to put in some stock. I'm going to put a little splash of soy sauce. Old English soy sauce, Naturally, Alice. naturally. This you can be generous with, in my opinion. So, bang. Good old Liam Perrins from Worcester. Say two or three nice, generous pinches of mace in there. Mace is the outer part of the nutmeg. Mm. I'm going to add a bit of lemon. I'll do it in little bits. So, yeah, rather than ending threads. up with long yeah. threads, because that's confusing. Mm. But that's enough of that. And then I'm going to add what I love to add is some cider. Oh, look, it's beautifully frothy. And I'm going to add a bit more, because we can oh, afford wow. to make that quite gooey. Not too gooey, that's the trick, just to stop it short of so getting you sloppy. Too much you don't want it to get mm. sloppy. And really, if you had a bit of old gravy in the fridge, you could pop that in now. Some old peas, you know, you name it, whatever's there that oh, sort of is looking for a home. Okay. You know? But really, it's, a, 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 as you can see, a melting pot for anything mm. that you know, is prepared to take the dive, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to put the bay leaves in from the garden. That smells wonderful. Is it smelling okay? Mm. I'm all, almost immune to it. I'm going to add a bit of parsley now. So how long should this cook it, it, for that's, us? That's almost enough, really, because you're dealing with cooked things and it's mm. going to get a, a further warming in the oven. Oh, yummy. It smells absolutely beautiful. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Look so at that. So I do the two-spoon wonder here, so it's just da-da. <coughs> Basically, whether you call it a potato crust oh. or whatever, but it's just... So this is why you used to help with Yeah, doing that. you can get fine. your kids doing this. Oh, how lovely. And then you'd get extra crunchy little bits yeah, on the top. Yeah, exactly. And we can enhance that even further by putting a little bit more butter... Oh, do you? Yes. ...on the top. Oh. Okay. Oh. without dropping. There you have... Shepherd's pie. That is very, very beautiful. Well, I'm pleased. Mm, it smells good. Of course, good the too. proof in the. So it's nice, crunchy top. We mm. hope. Oh. So there's a, a mini helping. That's beautiful. There you go. Yeah. Lovely. Mm. That's so lovely. I love it. Thank very you, easy. Alice. My absolute pleasure. Beautiful.